Hello friends. In this opportunity we will learn to use a visual module of the LED matrix with an Arduino board. We will learn to program the Arduino to control the LED matrix. Placing shapes. Movement patterns. Writing names or text statically on the screen. Character by character. And writing texts or phrases dynamically on the LED screen. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to be aware of new content published. We will use a Mac 7219 LED matrix module, which is made up of two main elements. A matrix with LEDs located in arrangements of 8 rows by 8 columns, with a total of 64 LEDs. An integrated circuit with reference Mac 7219, which has the capacity to control up to 8 LED matrices with a size of 8 by 8 and which is responsible for providing a control interface for the LED matrix that can be used by a microcontroller, in this case, an Arduino Uno compatible board. The MAC 7219 circuit provides a 5-pin control interface. Two power pins labeled VCC and GND to put 5 volts. And three serial type communication pins, labeled as DIN, CLK, and CS, which we will connect to the SPI serial interface of the Arduino board to control the LED matrix through master-slave communication, where the Arduino board is the master and the MAC 7219 module is slave. The module provides a 5-pin extension interface through which additional LED modules can be cascaded, expanding the visual spectrum with more LEDs if your application requires it. This is the connection diagram that we will use, between the LED matrix module and the UNO R3 board compatible with Arduino. We are going to make the connections indicated in the diagram and we will continue programming in the Arduino IDE software. With the matrix module connected to the Arduino board and the latter connected to the computer with the USB cable. We open the Arduino IDE software. Recently, I updated the version of my Arduino IDE software with the latest version available, that is, 2.0.4. First, we are going to install a library that allows us to use the LED matrix in a very simple way. For that, let's go to Tools. Manage Libraries. In the Library Manager, let's make sure that under Type, all is selected, and under Topic, all is selected. In the search bar we type, Mac 7219, which corresponds to the matrix controller circuit. Many available libraries are displayed, most of them, with the capacity to control an 8x8 LED matrix. I have already tested some of these libraries, and I found one that stands out for being very simple to use, called Matrix LED, by the creator, Daniel Alvarez. It indicates in the description, that it is a library for LED matrices with a size of 8x8 with Mac 7219 and Mac 7221 controllers. Then, in the select box we choose the version we want to install, I will check the most recent one and click on install. After installing the library, we close the library manager. To close it, we can use this icon on the left. Or we go to Tools, and click on Manage Libraries to close the window. With the library installed, we go to File. Examples. We look for Matrix LED, and position the mouse over it. Basic examples are displayed, showing us all the available functions, in this useful library. We find the counterexample, with which we can illustrate an ascending numerical count in up to 8 matrix modules. We find the control example, which allows us to know the functions of the library to control the LED matrix. We find the scroll example in which we can learn about the library functions used to dynamically illustrate texts or phrases on a matrix or up to 8 LED matrices. And we find the example various in which we find different useful functions for the control of the LED matrix. I am going to open the example various, and I am going to place the window of the example next to the window of my new sketch, only to have it as a reference when creating the new code. In the example we can find functions to control the LEDs independently or individually, functions to write single characters, functions to write static text on 1 to 8 screens, functions to scroll text to the right, 
and to scroll text to the left. Then, we go to the scope of the new sketch. The scope is simply the initial white space of the Arduino IDE editor, outside of all the methods, where we can create objects or declare variables that we will use later in the code. In the scope, let's go to sketch. Include library. We search and click on the matrix led library. Next, we declare the object that will allow us to control our matrix. We can use the name of our preference, I am going to call it matrix. Then we go inside the void setup method, and we initialize the matrix with the begin method, indicating four arguments inside the parentheses, separated by commas. Where the first argument corresponds to the Arduino pin that is connected to the DIN pin of the LED matrix module, the second argument corresponds to the Arduino pin that is connected to the CLK or clock pin of the LED matrix module, the third argument corresponds to the pin of the Arduino that is connected to the CS pin or chip select of the LED matrix module, and the fourth argument corresponds to the number of LED matrix modules that we are controlling, in this case one module. Then, using the delete method shown in the example, we can delete everything that has been written in the lead matrix up to that moment, leaving its 64 LEDs off. The example shows us a method called setLED. It is a very important method since it allows us to individually control the 64 LEDs available in the matrix. We are going to use it in our code, indicating four arguments separated by commas, inside parentheses. The first argument corresponds to the matrix to which we want to apply this function, of the eight possible matrices that this library can control, from 0 to 7, so we indicate the 0 parameter to refer to the first lead matrix, since in this case we only have one. The second argument is the row of the lead matrix to which we want to apply the action. For example, row 0. The third argument is the column of the lead matrix to which we want to apply the action, for example, column 0. And the fourth parameter is the action we want to apply to the individual LED defined by that matrix, that row, and this column. We set true to turn the LED on, and false to turn it off. In this case we will turn it on. Just like we will turn on 7 additional LEDs to this one, to form a diagonal line in the matrix, with 8 LEDs on, for which we will place a total of 8 instructions with the set LED method, increasing the rows and columns by 1. Then we select the hardware we are using. To do this, we go to Tools, and select the board, in this case, the Arduino Uno compatible board. Then we select the port where the Arduino board is connected. Let's upload the code to the Arduino with the upload icon, and see the result. Looking at the result on the LED matrix we can see that this is row 0 and there is column 0. And we observe row 7 and column 7, for a total of 8 rows and 8 columns. Then to execute the movement pattern, or effect of the bar of 8 LEDs moving horizontally and vertically, we are going to create two methods after the void loop method. A method I will name horizontal effect. And a method I will name vertical effect. Within the horizontal effect method, I will create two cyclic for structures, one inside the other. In the internal for, we will use an interaction variable that I will call, j, and that will increase unitarily from 0 to 7, this will oversee indexing or managing the 8 columns of the matrix. In the external for, we will use an interaction variable that I will name i, and that will increase unitarily from 0 to 7, this will oversee indexing or managing the 8 rows of the matrix. Then, inside the internal for, we type a single instruction using the set LED method to turn on a specific LED indexed by row I and column J. Then we set a delay of 50 milliseconds with the delay method, which will allow us to capture the movement of the LEDs from one row to another. After the delay, let's type a for equal to the one we already wrote, but this time placing the last argument in false to turn off the 8 LEDs of each row, this is because, by the time the 8 LEDs are turned on of the next row, the LEDs of the current row must be off. We continue with the code within the horizontal effect method, we place a new for, but this time unitarily decreasing the iteration variable that controls the rows, that is, the i variable, from 6 to 0. 
And inside this for, we place the same two structures, that we used before, including the 50 millisecond delay. We can copy them from above and paste them inside the new for. To write the code inside the vertical effect method, I'm going to copy all the code inside the braces of the horizontal effect method, and I'm going to paste it just the way it is, inside the vertical effect method. To convert this horizontal movement effect into a vertical one, I am only going to change one detail in the four LED lighting instructions, I will change the position of the indexing variables J and I. And that's it. We go inside the void loop method, and call the methods, horizontal effect, and vertical effect. Let's upload the code to the Arduino board, and see the full effect in a repetitive cyclical fashion. Continuing with the review of the various example, we can observe the method that we must use to write single characters on the lead matrix. We are going to cut the call of the two effect methods, from inside the void loop method, and paste it inside the void setup method, this so that this effect is executed only once when starting the Arduino board. Then we go inside the void loop method and using the write characters method of the matrix led library, we are going to write our name on the screen, character by character, in my case I will write electronic spot, which is the name of my channel, and I will place a 500 millisecond delay between writing each character, in order to detect changes. Let's upload the program to the Arduino board, and we can already see the diagonal line, the horizontal and vertical movement pattern, and our name on the matrix, character by character. Then we are going to learn how to write our name dynamically on the LED screen. So, let's cut out everything inside the void loop method, and paste it inside the void setup method, so that it runs once on startup. Let's close the various example, and go to file. Examples. Matrix LED. And we open the scroll example. I'm going to place the example window next to my program file, just for reference. We can see in this example, the function which will allow us to perform the task we require. Then we go back inside the void loop method, and write our name dynamically using this method, using two arguments inside the parentheses, the first argument is the text we want to write, and the second argument is the time in milliseconds between frames, the smaller this number is, the faster the phrase will move on the screen. Let's upload the program to the Arduino board and observe the total result of the exercise, and we can already see the diagonal line, movement pattern of the LED strip, the name written character by character, and our name dynamically illustrated on the LED matrix. Well friends, I hope this tutorial has been very useful for you. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to be aware of new content published.